let's just go with regular because it's my first like yeah it's my first type of game like this i have no idea i prefer like a, a pretty light interface so i've always really liked the idea of these uh these ghost recon games i've just never played any never had really the desire to want to play any um but this one was on sale recently so it was it was a super super cheap buy so it was like five bucks or something like that i to be honest with you i like actually hate this type of like character customization thing like i would rather just go into a, a game well this one's not so bad the only like ubisoft games that i've played really are like x defiant recently um yo that's a crazy scene i was freaking out a little bit but that's pretty crazy he's upside down <laughs> yeah that had me for a second i was like what kind of game am i playing Ubisoft Connect is the worst thing to come out ever. It's a very nice looking environment. I saw quite a few videos recently going over this, uh, just kind of talking about this game because it was so cheap. Like I said, for a while, I got it a little bit ago. Um, oh, hello. My goal to take them out. What am I doing? I hear that guy on the left. I just want to make sure he's not coming. Yeah, I'm probably going to be playing this way too tactical for a while until I get comfortable with it. Oh, I can hide their bodies. That's crazy. Move them. Yeah, hopefully, no one sees me. I'm gonna tuck them in here for now. You know what they say. You're sleeping on you, tuck them in. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. This is very atmospheric, honestly. I guess if I start running, I drop them. Interesting. One of the clips and gameplay that I did recently see, because like I said, I don't watch it a lot, but I stumbled across a couple of videos. It looks like a very tactical sort of shooter. You can kind of take your time with it. It's like a looter shooter almost too. Well, it is a looter shooter, but it's a uh, it very open world and seems like a lot of fun, honestly. So I'm really excited. I did see too. I'm really excited that I bought this game on uh, PC because of mods there is apparently a fairly big modding scene for this game and uh it just always always makes games better it enhances the, the life of a game especially one that i think is older too i don't know when this game came out i need to look into that but it's just nice it's a very different pace to have than uh everything i've been playing recently Let's get closer and take him out. Yeah. Holy shit. That guy's going to see me. Okay. I didn't realize they were coming this way. Let's go all the way down. Where are they going, dude? Oh, okay. They're coming over here. They're, they're. So it seems like as long as you kill them before they send out their message, they're not going to really uh, be able to do much. This is also... <sighs> I should have set this to... Here we go. Man, how do I switch shoulders? Yeah, okay. I figured out how to switch shoulders. Look at that. I feel happy. Figuring things out like that. I see him. Oh, there's four in this one. That's a lot harder. I need to tag them. Oh my god, dude. Get behind this tree.
Okay, I got everyone but the one guy. Let's hope he doesn't launch a full scale assault on me because that's kind of crazy. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh wow, you can die. That's cool. Okay, here we go. Nice, man. Take him out nice and easy. That's that's it's awesome. Oh my god. Skill trees like crazy. <clears throat> this is Weaver. Come in. Over. Anything? Oh, contact, contact. oh, wow. Could go in this like John Wick, but I don't want to do that. I think maybe I just lay down up here and take him out. Make sure there's no one that's really close. Oh, they're really far away though. Oh, those are big beds too. And I can't really see them. Okay, if there's no one else this direction, maybe I'll just go down there. Man. They did everything really well on this too. See how the gun's not touching the water? Lots of older games would have put the gun barrel right in the water, but it works differently if you do that. So they don't put the gun in the water. That's smart. I guess it's not that common or uncommon of a thing, but... Cool little little attention sometimes. It all matters. Okay, control is how I take the cover that I need. And kind of just move throughout the woods here. Okay, dropped him. Here's one of the big beds too. I can't really even see that guy to take him out, so let's just go check out these guys. Oh wait, yeah, I can. Just blind as a bat. Holy shit! Can I see that guy, or am I just going crazy? Here's something that's really hard for me to do. It's kind of distinguish enemies from foliage, you know. Good there. Isn't there one more on this side that I'm missing. See, because I'm clearly looking at a tree right now. So I know not to shoot over there because I cannot see the guy. I might be able to get that guy. I can't tell. Oof. Okay, that one was really difficult. There's so much gun sway, too. Oh, I can change the reticle type. What is Y? I don't know what Y is changing, to be honest with you. Absolutely do not want to do this without a suppressor. Just still being new to this game, I could not take on a full-fledged, like gunfight at the moment ah there we go <clears throat> make it a little easier on ourselves get a little closer another thing too I don't know is how good the AI is too so Ooh. Okay, that one that one was pretty far. I was kind of worried about that. This gun sway is killing me, dude. I think we're down to just this guy. Let me just scan real quick and make sure. Don't believe I missed anybody, but there's a chance I did, so we'll just pop him. Nice and easy, man. 
Wow. This is honestly, though, this is such a vibe right here. Running through the rainforest, just killing groups of enemies. See, I personally don't usually do third person shooters like this. But I don't mind a game that is a third person shooter that goes into first person so smoothly. And then third person is nice, too. It's nice to see. Like, it's got a lot to look at, you know. Like, I want to look at some of these things. That's pretty good. Uh, and then I think they're... Ooh. Like I was saying, I'm pretty sure there's a first person mod anyways that I can do. Stealth swim. That's crazy. Secretly swim. What I'm recognizing is at any point I can kind of just run up on a group of enemies. I have to take down an enemy. How close is this guy, dude? Oh. Is that just a single enemy? Sounds like a pretty good pack of them over there. I see some. There we go. One out there. No. Let's just stay low. Scanning, see if I see anybody else. There he is. I love that they nonchalantly talk about you without knowing that you're here. Oh, shit. Clean. Okay. Easy. Let's see what they had on them. I need to head back towards the main spot anyways. Slowly rotate around to pick them off. So I could definitely get them from here. But. I like to get up close. Just be more certain. Oh, okay. That was a really... That was a really risky thing to do because I didn't know if there's anyone else around him. There are tons of open world games that I've played recently that have been really good, but they're all like. They're all like fighting monsters, you know. Oof, that was really bad. I prefer these types of games where you have so many options to go about this fight. I could have been very loud from the very beginning, but. I think it's most people's preferred play style to just be very quiet and stealth. And sort of sneak around and feel like, I mean. You don't really have to do much to feel like everyone's hunting you on this island because they are all hunting you. I don't hear any other chatter or anything. That's, I think that's everybody, but just to be sure. Something I've made very clear that, uh, that Call of Duty, I guess, has made clear is I really, if I'm going to buy a game or buy, if I'm going to spend money on anything at all, it's got to have good replayability it's got to be worth it it's got to be fun every single aspect of it has to be something i want to do otherwise there's just no point
Not to become a pro drifter in Ghost Recon. Holy sh that's really, really bad, really bad, really bad. That was not good. That could have been real bad. Uh, I'm just going to take the rest of this. That's 800 meters. Oh my god, okay. I'm going to just go slow, I guess. I'm not going to take the rest of this on foot, because that's going to be like a six-hour walk. Oh, there's another path down there. That must have been that other path. I like a game with no bounds, you know? Those kind of look like civilians, though. They don't look like enemies. Are they enemies? Guess we'll find out. think they're enemies i think they're i think they're civilians well let's just leave them alone well, that seems like a pretty good end to the first sort of mission first half wow look how pretty that is man oh yeah this is definitely like a like a grounds nice oh this is also where the multiplayer hub is at that's all good and dandy, but I'm going to continue the single player story campaign as the game was intended. I guess it is a co-op shell, so yeah. Can't be that mad. This is an awesome game so far. Highly recommend picking it up. I believe it might still be on sale on Steam, so just give it a chance if you uh, are interested in these types of games. So, yep. All right, I'll see you in the next part. Peace.